bringing home the bacon has been complete. One quest point, a bunch of XP summoning, I guess that makes sense. And, um, three pet pig familiars, access to pig pens, and two treasure hunter keys. So, and we got a song. So, yeah, not too bad overall. Can I help you with something? No. Oh. And, yeah, there we go. Quest complete. You literally have to put yourself and shield this so this kid just kills this wolf. I might die, to be honest. That's kind of cool, Philip. Receives one quest point, bag of sweets. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We completed Carlin's Rising. I think that's how you say it. Uh, one quest point, 2,500 thieving, construction, 5k coins, two XP lamps, a bag of sweets, construction supplies. Wow, that's actually not a bad reward. Um, so I guess that got us one quest point. Um, and then apparently if we open this chest, we will get a bunch. So yeah, we got some planks, which is going to be useful for construction and a bunch of other stuff. We got the bag of sweets and XP. That's kind of cool. I didn't really mind this quest at all. I guess we can destroy this book now. Um, what's in here? <laughs> what is this? A gold bar? Okay, that's cool. This will have 5k in it. Oh, well. Um, we got his notes. And some XP lamps for agility. Nice. Not much to say, but we finished Clock Tower. Kind of like crashed this guy. I didn't really mean to. I hopped on this world and I just got attacked but this is just insane XP rates it's so much better than training Slayer right now for range anyways and I need to get to 64s so I might as well just power uh, level here for a little bit in AFK 60 range coming in with 65 range we have the requirements for mornings and part one now but I don't know do I really want to do that right now I decided just to do it mornings and part one is that right? 25,000 thieving in constitution. That is amazing. Actually, I didn't realize it was that good. Um, 198 quest points, or that got two quest points. Mornings and part one. Now that was, this is part of the elf series heading up to Priftinus. So it's a good one to get over with. 13 keys from all these quests. There we go, 66 fishing. Okay, this one was kind of annoying, but also kind of fun at the same time because you got to slide around as a penguin. I'm just going to say this in case I ever need it again. Um, wave, bow, and cheer were my three commands, just in case I ever need that shit again. Oh, this is actually kind of a cool little cutscene, but uh, yeah. You have completed Cold War quest, 1 quest point, 2k crafting, 5k agility and 1.5k construction, and now I can be a penguin whenever I want, so... Oh nice, a construction level and two treasure hunter keys. Look at this poor guy, like, I love the animation of him picking up the rock while my character is just sitting there doing nothing. I like the sailor cap though, I might actually keepsake it. Alright, I didn't mind that one, I actually quite liked it. Two quest points, 15k construction, 30 teak planks, and adamant halberd, that's interesting. And increased damage when using Castle Wars, yada yada. There we go. We passed 200 quest points. We're at 201 now. We're over halfway there. Not much to say besides that quest was awful. I did not know what I was doing. One quest point, 7.5k construction XP. We're getting a lot of construction XP tonight. 2k farming, which is awesome. Some ring. Uh, doesn't I don't know what it does. And yeah, there's another quest point. Why is our sh screen shaking? There we go. Oh my god. You have completed Summer's End. One quest point. 1.5k summoning. 5k hunter. 5k mining. 5k woodcutting. 10k prayer. 15k fire making ability to wield spirit shields and upgrade versions of Jenica's ring. Damn, that one was... I... I don't even know how to explain that one. That one was just a full-on puzzle. Um, never had a spirit shield before. So yeah, there we go with Summer's End Complete. Alright guys, I got a little bit of fashionscape going. Check out this outfit with the sailor's hat. I got like the matching pants and I got some of the cooking gauntlets and stuff. I think it's going to go really well when I get the untrimmed rune crafting cape. So yeah, <laughs> lol. Interesting quest. Okay, so she's dating him. 
<laughs> Holy fuck. Five quest points. 300 crafting XP. Swanky boots. Oh, I guess you don't get those from the... Whatever it's called anymore. Um, antique lamp. Five fucking quest points for that four minute quest. Oh my god, what is this? Like a 1k XP? Oh my god, 200 XP lamp. Oh, five quest points though. I started to use my Silverhawk feathers just a little bit right now because I want, we eventually need 75 agility for Prif anyways. So yeah, there we go with 70 agility. Um, I had like 800 feathers from the Oddman's uh, Silverhawk down, so that's honestly insane to be honest. We just hit 68 fishing now, so I believe that's fishing guild. Oh, we can do the minnows in deep fishing. I might even take a look at... Oh, and deep... And the green jellyfish. We might have to take a look at that, to be honest, soon. But we're sticking here for now, maybe. I, would, I think 70 I need for deadliest catch. Something like that. I wanted to do deadliest catch. So, yeah. There we go. And hopefully we'll have 75 agility in no time. Sweet. Fremenic Trials has been complete. Three quest points. 2k XP lamps and a bunch of shit. Is that all lamps? That is nice. Up to 211 quest points now. And we are now a Fremenic, so I guess this is all just XP. Sweet. Oh man, my cat's getting killed. There we go, we completed rat catchers. I could not figure out this puzzle for the life of me. I didn't realize that little like symbol at the top. You had to click that as well. But anyways, two quest points, 4.5k thieving, lazy cats, and two treasure hunter keys. So up to 213 now. So I'm doing that You Are It quest, the new one that came out probably about a month ago or so. I thought it was a lot harder, but you know what? There we go, one quest point, and yeah, I think we get like a... Yeah, no thank you, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> 15k magic XP, damn. Um, that wasn't a bad quest. Four quest points again with another really good quest point. Watchtower spell, which is pretty much useless because we have lodestones, but four quest points and 15k magic. Um, not even close to a magic level anymore. Do not trouble yourself farther, sir. You've already done so much. And there we go, we have completed the Throne of Miscellanea quest, and one quest point, and Subjects will, co will collect the resources for you. So there we go, we have the 100% appro approval rating, and last collected was 19,000, or 19 hours ago. Let's set this up and make a lot of money. Okay, so I have them collecting wood for now. I'm not too sure which is the best on RuneScape 3 anyways, but I know from wood we'll get a lot of bird's nests, so it might make a little bit of money. I only have 300k in there. I'll have to go get more eventually. Damn, we just hit 70 fishing, guys. I believe that is actually the requirement. Or deadliest catch. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it is, but I need like 60 hunter or something. It's got my approval rating back to 100%, and we're actually going to collect and see what we actually got. Here's a list of what have they collected. Okay, so 2,000 maple logs, 17 bird's nest. That's not too bad. Um... I don't, I don't think that's too bad, actually, especially since these are going to be a lot more money and we're going to be collecting seeds over time, hopefully for farming in the future. So, yeah, we put it all in the wood right now, so we're going to deposit, I guess. Uh, I'll just see if I can do 10 mil and it will fill it. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. It's completely full now and they're all working on wood. So, yeah, that's sweet. Okay, so we just rubbed this lamp and we should... Oh damn, we're so close, but we have a Dungeoneering daily. Okay, this should actually, 140k Dungeoneering. There we go, 82. We're three levels off of Frost Dragons. And there we go, coming in with 88 Runecrafting. There we go, we just get 121 tiers. Damn, it's because of the quests, the questing that I've been doing. So yeah, we got um, three summoning levels up to 47 summoning. I think I'm going to be tackling summoning and construction on this double XP weekend. Hopefully, see what we can get to. But yeah, there we go. Now farming's our lowest. So next time we go into Tears of Gothics, we will probably be doing farming. So that's not too bad. Get another Slayer task and see what we get here. Um, Basilisks or Fire. I think I'm going to go with Fire Giants, to be honest. Sweet. Coming in with 60 Slayer. Um, ooh, Aberrant Inspectors. Finished my Slayer daily. I'm just going to check how much this is. It's probably going to be a level, to be honest. Yeah, 12k Slayer. There we go. 
Um, yeah, there we go, 61 Slayer, and we get a Challenge XP Lamp for, I guess, Strength. Put that on Strength, and 9k Strength. There we go with the Strength level as well. Okay, time to get another assignment. Hellhounds or Fire Giants again? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna start doing a bit of tree runs now, like, maybe like once every few days, just to get some extra farming. And there we go, we just hit 47 farming, not too bad. Okay, so I just finished my task, let's go get another one. Got a magic level and about 12k slayer, nothing too impressive. Grotworms or hellhounds? Honestly, hellhounds. I actually don't know if I can <laughs> fight them at this level, but we'll see, probably. Probably gonna be able to. And we have 96 points, so we're pretty far away from the Slayer Helm. Okay, so overall the Hellhounds task was pretty good. I got two attack levels, a defense level, an HP level, and a Slayer level. Damn, I actually... And like almost 200 gold charms. Next task. Come on, Simona. Grotworms or Turths? I think we're gonna go with Turths. <laughs> Okay, so that one wasn't terrible, it just kind of, I screwed up at the last part of it, and let's just check this now. There we go with the Curse of Arav, 1 quest point, 14k thieving, 9k range, 9k strength, 9k agility, 30k mine, that's actually really good. 4, 2 point, and actually, that's really good, to be completely honest. Did I get any levels out of that? We got a summoning level. Surprised we didn't get a mining level, to be honest, but there we go, um, 48 summoning, and that is one step closer. Uh, I think we only have the 1 quest quest left to get a uh, soul split sweet keeping up with the daily tree runs and we just hit 49 farming okay so one of the other requirements was getting 125 kudos and literally i got all of the pieces in under 10 minutes i thought it was gonna take like three hours or something i heard that people have been here forever all right so we have 138 kudos and we have every requirement for the temple at seniston Dailies. Glad I could help. Damn, Temple of Sinister is complete. We now have Ancients and a bunch of shit. 23k XP Lamp, 220k Combats, 10k Prayer, and access to the Curses. We've got Curses. There we go, 63 attack. Nice, and 23k Agility. Or should we do something like... Oh, they need to be over 50. Hmm. Guess we're gonna go with agility. 23k agility up to 71. And there we go, we hit 50 farming.